Hello Vecus users, I am Fahim Isha and today we are going to solve this problem. I have taken this problem from a Vecus benchmark. Uh, finding bearing capacity of Swift Foundation. You can search uh, a Vecus benchmark guide. In under the soil analysis, uh, you will find this problem as limit low calculations. Here you can uh, read the problem description in details material properties, loading and controls, results and discussion. You can also get input files and at the end you will find results. So let's move toward our problem and the problem statement is the plane strain model analyzed is shown in the given figure. The strip of sand is 12 feet deep and infinite horizontal extent. In the footing is rigid and perfectly rough and spans a central portion of 10 feet wide. The model assumes symmetry about the central plane. This is our central plane and the region model with finite elements extend 29 feet to the right of the central plane. We will model this region as finite with finite elements and which uh, which is 29 feet in but in a Becker standard reduced integration second order plane strain quadrilateral element type are used for the finite region for this region we will use a second order um, the plane strain quadrilateral elements in infinite elements five node a quadratic one way infinite element will be used for this region we need to find the bearing capacity of the foundation using abacus the next slide uh, here are the material properties elastic response is a linear and isotropic in modulus poisson ratio and we will use uh, k plasticity uh, k plasticity values are given in the table and here is the k hardening curve you can see and these these values are obtained from this curve you will use these uh, values in our abacus uh, material model on the next slide, uh, you will see the result comparison. Here, I have taken this graph from the uh, Abacus benchmark, and this one, the blue one, you can see. I have obtained, I have obtained this curve, the blue one, from Abacus using Abacus, and you can see that it uh, matches the cape clay ten strand condition. So let's move toward the uh, abacus. Here we will start standard. Okay, so we need to create uh, abacus. Uh, we need to create the soil geometry, which is 12 feet deep and 29 plus 29 feet uh, in the horizontal direction. So let's uh, create soil 2d continue rectangular one here zero zero enter in 29 plus 29 multiply by 12 will it will be equal to 696 inches uh, i will use uh, inches as you can see the properties are given in pound per inch square or inches so we will use uh, inches so i have converted it into inches and the depth is 12 feet which is 144 inches and okay done so we have obtained our geometry now we need to uh, partition we need to make uh, do partition in it we will uh, we will uh, partition the part into two uh, two parts uh, the first one would be five feet away from the center plane and the next would be 29 feet away from the center plane so i will click on create dotted plane and in the i will select uh, yz plane in offset of uh, 5 feet equal to 60 inches so i will uh, 
put 60 inches have created xy plane bottom plane again in uh, 29 feet 29 feet equal to how much uh, 348 348 inches so uh, we have done with it now we need to create uh, partitions so i will select uh, partition face using the datum plane i will click on the datum plane create partition partition has been done now i will select this face and ok and i will select this startup plane to create partition so we are done with the partitions now you can also hide the datum planes you can go to the view and then from the dis part display option and here datum plane and you can uncheck this and apply ok now the next module is the property modules we will create basically uh, two materials uh, uh, one material for this finite region and the other for this infinite region we will use uh, elastoplastic behavior of soil in this region while linear elastic in the this region so let's create soil one i will name it soil one elastic properties so let's move toward the properties Young modulus and Poisson ratio. Young modulus is 30 e to the power 3 and Poisson ratio is 0 0.3. Now plasticity, K plasticity. Material cohesion is 16.212. Angle of friction is 30.64. You can see here 0 0.1, 0 0.00041. Okay, I will put 0 0.1 now 0 0.00041. Transition surface ingredient is uh, 0 0.01 and flow stresses are 0 0.1. Zero point zero one, and here one. Now, from here, I will select cap hard, hardening. Uh, cap hardening values are these values, so I will copy from here and will paste here. you can see the i have just uh, paste values here these are the cap hardening values and okay so we are done with the uh, first material now we will uh, again define soil i will name it soil 2 and we will only uh, give its uh, elastic properties 30 e to the power 3 and Poisson ratio is 0 0.3 okay now we will create section soil 1 homogeneous solid homogeneous continue I will select soil 1 from here again soil 2 okay now assign section I will select this portion done and i will select soil one from here elastoplastic behavior of the soil and i will select this portion and i will select soil two we are done with the property module now let's move toward the assembly Create an instances, independent mesh, independent mesh on instances in OK. Again, we will hide the assembly module. You can hide the data planes. Okay. 
now the step module static journal continue i will keep the time period equal to one second and i will maximum number of increment 50 and here i will put 0 0.025 and maximum would be 0 0.1 and here i will select uh, unsymmetric and ok before uh, going to the interactions uh, we will move toward the mesh so you can see from here that uh, three elements are uh, assigned in uh, under the footing while it has been uh, seeds into four parts so we will use this type of meshing i will select these two edges continue when i will my number equal to three lie and okay now we will select these edges okay and you will divide it into four elements and apply and okay now this part i will do um, six and here i will select two and i will reverse the direction okay and apply and okay i will select these two edges and i will select only one okay now we will mesh the part you can see we have obtained the, share, the same mesh as here now move toward the interactions uh, here we need to constrain uh, the the foundation so for that we will use uh, equation constraint but for the equation constraint we need sets uh, master and slave services surfaces so we will uh, move toward the sets create set node and i will name it uh, master and continue i will select this point this node and done now again i will create set i will name it slave nodes continue and i will select these nodes and ok now from here what we will do we will create a constraint and from here we will select equation constraint and then continue coefficient of 1 and here minus 1 i will select slave here and I will select master here degree of freedom two degree of freedoms for both okay and now you can see that uh, the foundation has been constrained now we have uh, to move toward the load module in the load modules uh, we need to assign the boundary conditions I will create boundary condition in step one then the, uh, select displacement rotation continue select this side and click on turn you will constrain this in the horizontal direction okay now we will select uh, these two this bottom and create and we will select uh, displacement rotation done and okay and we will constrain it in both horizontal and vertical directions okay sorry i have uh, missed one part we have, we need to um, assign the types of element so i will select this portion and done and from here i will select quadratic and we need to define the plane strain uh, at an eight node by quadratic plane strain quadrilateral reduce integration element ok and i will click ok and here uh, we need to define the infinite element but first we will we will assign uh, 
first we need to make it uh, infinite so we will select sweep from here and we will then continue delete the meshes yes and now we will mesh the instance okay now we will assign element we will assign acoustic element first here and then we will change it into the uh, this type of element you can see uh, we will change later on to the infinite elements i will select this quadratic okay and we are done now to the interactions again we will just check the master and slave surfaces slave surface i will select uh, these three lines you can see the number of nodes now has been increased so i will okay you can see and now again i will select uh, i will edit the master surface as you know the adapter meshing all the sets uh, uh, the nodes uh, we, we lost so we again uh, just uh, make a set of the master and slave services now we have done with the load module okay so in the load module we need to apply uh, downward displacement uh, from here I will select this set and I we need to move, to move the master sur surface uh, in the downward direction 5 inches I will click on OK again we need to we need to constrain the foundation in the uh, horizontal direction so that uh, it would be uh, a rough and perfect uh, foundation so that uh, the whole foundation will move um, uh, so that the uh, whole of the foundation will move with each other and now we need to constrain it in the horizontal direction i will select slab service surface from uh, set from here continue and we need to constrain it in the horizontal direction and okay you can see now we have done with the load module now meshing you can see we have done now to the job module we will create a job i will name it as bearing capacity and continue and okay now we need to change the element type uh, of this uh, infinite region uh, to the infinite uh, elements so what we will do we will create a job and then we will write input write input file and ok now we will go to the input file bearing capacity here we will modify it we need to change the element type uh, acoustic to this one to the uh, infinite element what we will do we will copy the element type from here and we will just paste over here and we will save it now what we need to do is we need to import the um, input file so I will click on import uh, model you will select input file from here and I will import the bearing capacity input file you can see that uh, the bearing capacity input file has been imported and these elements are now infinite elements now we need to do is to uh, to create a job for the bearing capacity model continue ok and now we will submit it and we will wait for the results 
you can click on the monitor and you will uh, see the step values here you can see the job has been completed what we need to do to check the results okay you can see the the deformed shape you can also see the plastic strain uh, what we will do we'll click on the odb display output and here we will make a mirror of it okay you can see the uh, local shear failure of uh, the foundation now now we need to find the uh, results uh, like uh, pressure and displacement in inches we need to plot this curve so what we will do we will we will click on the xy data i will here i will select output um, odb field output and from here unique nodal points we will select uh, uh, reaction forces in the downward direction and displacement in the downward direction we will select okay we will select uh, node set and we will plot it for the master surface you can see there are two curves uh, one for the uh, force with respect to time and other for the displacement with respect to time we will say both and you can see from here we have obtained these two curves So we have obtained the force uh, and we know that uh, the pressure uh, we will obtain the pressure when we divide the force divided by the area of the foundation so here we will divide uh, it uh, with the width of the foundation 5 feet so we will divide it uh, uh, with 60 inches as we are taking uh, 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 it is a strip foundation so we will divide it only with the width of the foundation what we need to do is uh, we will click on the uh, uh, create xy data and here i will click on the operate xy data continue and these are the reaction forces so i will select this and we will divide it by 60 in order to uh, take the pressure uh, we know that pressure is uh, equal to force divided by area so this is the force and we divide it by area uh, and we will now click on this we will save it as pressure okay now from here i will click on clear expression and i we need to combine the uh, pressure versus the displacement curve so pressure, we need to define uh, to combine the, uh, for, uh, the pressure and the displacement so we what we will do uh, i will click on the combine and you can see that we have uh, uh, displacement in the horizontal axis and pressure on the vertical axis so i will click displacement first and then the pressure and i will click on plot now what need we need to do put negative sign here and put negative sign here and again click on the plot and now we will make save it it's called pressure versus displacement curve and we will save it now here what we need to do we will click on edit we will copy all the values and we will paste it in the excel sheet i will move uh, sorry we move this curve here 
I've already um, make a table for it, so you will paste values here. Now, what we need to do is to insert the plot. So you can see we have obtained this curve. So now you can see that uh, the displacement is up to five inches, and uh, the pressure is up to two hundred. So what we will do, uh, we will click on this vertical axis we will make the maximum value equal to 200 we will make the maximum value equal to 200 and we will click on close and the major unit we will put 50 here click on close so you can see here okay now we will select the horizontal axis maximum value will make it 5 and 1 is the major unit so okay and you will click close now we need to uh, insert the x axis and y axis so click on the x axis and vertical axis we will copy displacement in inches in control v Control me. Now we need to insert the this curve in order to obtain this curve. So we will double click in the center and we will now insert a file and click on this and insert now you can see that uh, our curve uh, which we have obtained from abacus is exactly the same uh, where the k plasticity model is located you can see it is exactly the same curve which we have uh, obtained after editing you can see that uh, the blue one is the curve which we have obtained from a backers and you can see the circle uh, is the cape model plane strain match so you can see that uh, both the plane strain the cape model uh, which we have obtained from backers and uh, the you can see it from the abacus benchmark exactly matches and so our result uh, is, uh, is accurate uh, thank you for watching this video uh, keep in touch for watching more videos uh, thank you